Working their way to the top of the reef at 50 feet, the divers encounter the first sharks, black tip reef sharks, in moderate numbers. At Rangiroa, black tips frequent both the outer reef slopes and the inner lagoon. They're relatively small sharks with unusual markings, both striking and delicate. Their hunting method is based more on stealth than brawn. Using a technique called skylight hunting, they camouflage themselves against the bottom and watch for the silhouettes of prey to pass overhead. Then lunge upwards after them. Actually, black tip reef sharks are one of my favorite sharks because, well, they're not really big, but they're really cute. They're very streamlined, but they're kind of muscly too. They have a, a little bit more personality in some ways because they're probably smaller and they're preyed upon by other sharks. They're like the first shark you meet when you jump in the water. They're a lot of fun. Continuing to descend, Cranston encounters a much larger and potentially more dangerous shark species at about 80 feet. Swift, powerful, and highly predatory, silver tip sharks generally spend the daylight hours hundreds of feet deep. But at Rangiroa, the bounty of the riptide attracts them much closer to the surface. In comparison to black tip reef sharks, silver tips are linemen. They're big, they're husky. They have more of a presence. Silver tips demand your attention. There was this one big female and she had scars on her girdle and above her pectoral fins. These are scars from mating. Male sharks bite the female, and then they wrap their tails around and mate. It's the only way they have to hang on. At 100 feet down the reef slope, Cranston finds the first gray reef sharks. Elsewhere in the world, this species is known to school in groups of a few dozen. But here, there are scores of sharks, and as the tide builds, even more. Mid-water predators, gray reef sharks favor the edges of steep drop-offs and strong currents. Here in Taputa Pass, as the tide roars outwards, the sharks orient themselves at the edge of the current. I have never seen so many, quote, reef sharks before. All sharks are exciting, but when there's lots of sharks moving fast, my adrenaline gets pumping. The outgoing current passing through the sharks' mouths and over their gills is the equivalent to reading a menu for the dinner special of the day. When, back in the lagoon, a Tahitian spear fisherman loses his catch, the injured fish is swept through the pass on the flowing water. The sharks need only wait for an easy meal to come their way. At Rangiroa, most weak or ill fish will come to the same fate. 